Hey everyone, it's Steph. I have a really fun DIY Japanese dinosaur gummy candy project today. Um, I got this little kit from Candy Japan. They're an online Japanese candy subscription service. You get two different candies each month. And I was really excited because I've always wanted to try one of these um, gummy kits and this was the first candies that I got. So yeah, we're gonna do this together. So it comes with uh, the gummy powders. This one's green, this one's brown. They post like um, a picture tutorial on their website and through their email. This is um, a powder that you mix with water. So I have my water here and it comes with a little fork and a dropper. So let's get started. I have um, four molds, well actually five molds, and I think I'm going to mix some of them with the green and the brown. So this is our green packet, and I have some scissors. So let's see. This is kind of exciting. I guess I want his head to be green. Maybe his tail to be green. Then one of these fossil type like things. Make that green too. So I'm gonna open the brown one. You can actually tear these, but I just like to cut it so it's easier for me to pour evenly. So I'll make this fossil fossil looking thing brown. Then I'll make the other half of his head brown. I think I'm supposed to fill it all the way so I'm gonna go back with my green. This is actually pretty fun. I'm gonna make this guy green too. I think you're supposed to use a whole packet or at least they give you more than enough to fill your molds. You can see it. Pretty cool looking. And then I saw from the instructions that you just kind of like smooth it out with your fork. Oops. Just so you can see where the, the pattern is. I've been watching a lot of videos on these Japanese candy making kits. So, I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. This is exciting. I really like crafts, so this is really fun for me. All right. So we are going to pour some water into this side of the, the mold. Like that. You see that. And then I'm gonna open the contents of this packet. This is the silver pouch. And we are going to mix it in the water. Ooh, it's like turning blue. And then I'm going to mix it. I probably shouldn't have put so much water in it. But that's okay. It's working. So I'm just mixing. I don't know, some of it bled over, but that's okay because I think I have to move it over anyways. Alright. So I'm going to take the dropper get some of this and then drop it into the molds with the gummy powder. I read that you have to add um, a little bit more where like towards the center where it's going to be more powder like thicker. So pretty much drip, triple it in there. fossil guy. And then 
You're gonna have way more of the liquid. I hope I did this right. Add a little more water. So you're supposed to wait about three minutes and then you can use your fork to um, remove the gummy. All right. In the meantime, I'll show you the package. This is what it looks like, very colorful. And this is the back. I'm not Japanese and I cannot read the Japanese language, but they have instructions by picture right here. I also watched a lot of videos online to see how to do this, so I would suggest doing that or just um, look, taking a look at the, the tutorial um, in the, ja the Candy Japan email. But I think this service is pretty awesome because it allows people who can't get access to Japanese candy to be able to try different candies each month. Luckily in Seattle we have um, a few Japanese markets so I'm gonna check out check them out next time to see if they have any of these gummy packets because it's pretty cool. I think this would be a great activity for for kids too. Um, yep, we're still waiting. It came with a little picture of like a dinosaur museum. So we're just waiting for our gummy to solidify and the wait time is around three minutes. I'm actually a little nervous. I hope I didn't do it wrong, but it will be fun. I'm gonna just gonna poke at it. I have on um, OPI Designer Series uh, nail polish in Luxurious, if anybody was wondering. So yeah, it's, it's like gummy consistency. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh, wow. I think I'm gonna give it a few more minutes or maybe like another minute. And next time I'm not gonna fill the water all the way up because I need to leave room for the powder. I'm just gonna peel the candy out with my fork. This is cool. So this is a little fossil. I'm just gonna put it on my plate over here. This is cool. I got the back end of my dinosaur. I'm gonna put it on my plate. A little gummy. It tastes a little like sour, like sour gummy. like like what do you call those sour patch kids almost but a little bit more sweet okay I'm gonna try to get the rest of my dinosaur out I feel like such a failure <laughs> this is actually harder than I thought it was going to be oh this is cool look at that oh, my dinosaur all right I'm gonna put them on the plate oh the thought this one looks cool I think I should have put more of the liquid into um into these guys so here's my final result i have my t-rex my other dinosaur creature and these little fossil like things and i think i successfully did this maybe next time i will mix the water better but i think it looks pretty cool i think this is this is pretty fun actually and i think it would be a lot more fun with more colors and different um, molds. But I'm gonna keep my eye on the. I live in Seattle and we have uh, Uwajimaya. And they might carry it because I know they carry um, flavored Japanese Kit Kats. And I actually have the green tea Kit Kats. And I, I can show them to you. I have them somewhere. These are Japanese candies that I got at my local Japanese market. It, we're lucky in Seattle because um, we have a couple of grocery uh, Japanese markets and this is the green tea Kit Kats and they uh, comes in a big bag like this for about six dollars and fifty cents. It's twelve. And it's just green like this. 
and it tastes like like the matcha green tea. It's really good. Another favorite Japanese candy of is mine. this mango hard candy. It's super hard to find. I can't find it at any of my local markets in Seattle, but I was able to find it when I went to Richmond, Canada at one of their, um, at one of the Chinese grocery stores. It's like um, a mango hard candy. If you like mango, you'll like these because it tastes super good. And then it has like a little chewy center, but it's by, by this brand. So that wraps up my Japanese candy video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.